Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got some Uncle Henry knives to uh, review. Our friends at American Outdoor Brands sent some knives to review, and this is the uh, the first one that I'll be checking out. And this is the Uncle Henry 5UH Bruin. And so here's the box it comes in, got the nice uh, script on it. Here's your uh, part number, the 1136000. And there's where it's telling you it's the 5UH with the next gen Staglon. Uh, really cool uh, boxes, really cool stuff going on. I, I really dig the uh, next gen Staglon. I think it looks really good. And I love how this lockback, uh, how you can take a look at it and just see. It's nice and thin, you know, so that makes it good. And I love a small lockback like this because they just fit in the pocket well and they are just a, a really good little handy knife to have to get you through your day with your EDC needs. Nice little drop point blade there. Uh, here's your uh, script. So you got Uncle Henry written in uh, written in script and then on the other side giving you the 5UH. Uh, now these knives, like I said before in some of my other videos, when you look at the uh, Uncle Henry's, because they were all under the same uh, manufacturing company. So you had Schrade, uh, Old Timer, Uncle Henry, and Imperial Knives were all under the same canopy. So some of these uh, knives, they just borrowed from some of their stable mates. And this is one of them, because the Old Timer has this one as the uh, 5OT Bruin, and this is the 5UH Bruin. Uh, and from what I can tell from back in the day, the uh, the 5OT was made uh, back in the original times, uh, back when it was USA made. The 5OT came out around 1987 and it ran in production until 1998. The 5UH was really right at the end there and was from 2003 to 2004. So there may not be very many uh, U.S. made versions of this knife uh, out there. So that may be something for you guys that are really into collectibles to uh, check out because there's probably not as many. Now this knife is made in China, but it's very well made. The construction is nice. The lockup is super nice and tight. No kind of blade wobble or wiggle or anything. Uh, what you're looking at here is a blade, the drop point blade, with a two and a half inch uh, cutting edge, uh, two and three quarters if you measure all the way back to the bolster. Uh, we're looking at seven CR17 uh, MOV for the uh, steel material. And it's got an overall length of six and a half inches. And it only weighs a little over two and a half ounces. You have nickel silver bolsters and brass pins with a little brass uh, Uncle Henry shield, which again has the uh, Uncle Henry uh, script in there. So just a fantastic little budget knife. Uh, great for, you know, you can get a, a full grip on this. You can get all four fingers on this. And the, the Bruin knives are just super handy like i said this is just this is the kind of knives that i used to really love back in the uh in the 90s this you know a single blade lockback like this that was slim that looked good uh that was that was my jam i, I loved that stuff i would uh go out of my way to to find stuff like this and you've seen my lockbacks i've, I've had quite a few uh, excuse me can't speak easy for me to say I've had quite a few over the years that are in this uh, likeness. Some a little smaller, some a little bigger, but uh, but definitely the kind of knife that uh, just falls into your pocket and you can carry all day and takes care of everything you need in a day. It's just uh, just a great thing. So, anyways, that's all I got for this one. You'll be seeing more Uncle Henry knives coming up in the future. Uh, we still have our, our Christmas motif here, and I hope you guys 
do enjoy your Christmas. I hope you all have a very happy holiday season. There'll be some more uh, videos coming out all through the next couple of weeks, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there will not be a live show on uh, Christmas Day, but there will be a live show on New Year's Day. So I'll see you live uh, in the uh, coming year. And then uh, for the rest of the time, you're just going to have to uh, have some uh, some videos. And we'll be having some uh, Uncle Henry stuff uh, showing up more and more on the channel uh, as I go through these uh, knives and, and get them, you know, uh, tested and, and videoed in and all that other good stuff. So look, look forward to those. And uh, then who knows what else is going to show up on the channel? Because, you know, I, I got all kinds of things in the works. I just don't know exactly from day to day exactly what I'm going to do at any given moment. And I think that kind of uh, makes it fun uh, for you guys, because uh, as Jolly Peanut once told me, I like watching your channel because I never know what's going to show up. And that's uh, that's kind of the theme. <laughs> it's the same way with the lives. You never know who's going to show up there, too. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your opinion is of the uh, of the five uh, UH or the five OT. If you have either one, let me know what your experiences are with them, and I will see you in the next one. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.